Hello. Hello and happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Happy Valentine's mm. Day. Is that nice? Mm. Are, you a, are you a Valentine's guy? You don't no. seem... Oh. No, 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 no. No, not really, no. I am... Um, I'm just, I'm just not really. Oh, this is expensive. Don't do that. Sorry. Um, is um, I am just. I'm not really very romantic. I'm. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that you know it. It can be lovely. You know. Did you mm. give your wife a present this no. morning? Or no. 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 So no, I didn't. No, but I am. I'm going to go and get her some of those melt in the middle indoor chocolates later. So there we um, go. Which, yeah. I know. And I'm going to do for the kids little hearts on sticks. As well. Oh, yeah. that sounds you yeah. seem totally Valentine's Day. -y. What about you? Not so much Why? into the Valentine. Well, I think it's it's more fun if you're in a relationship, isn't it? Or maybe yeah. like yeah, no, just not. Are you the kind of girl that spoils her boyfriend on Valentine's Day? Um, no. I get them something, but I'm more excited about what they're yeah. gonna get me. Yeah, no, I can understand. <laughs> I think I think it's it's the commercialization of love. All I would say about it is it may actually be a fantastic day because people can express their desires and loves for one, for one another. But surely we should be doing that all year round. All year round. But the reason that I will not say anything negative about Valentine's Day is because it's very good for um, the British economy. Right. Now, before we engage this love train, however, we must say a big thank you to Little Pie, <gasps> yes. a lovely pop-up patisserie in Norwich, because they've started our Valentine show off wonderfully. Uh, with this great box of treats. Yes, they certainly have. We have some really, really great ones here. So we've got some golden syrup slapjacks, there are cheesecake brownies, white chocolate and almond cookies, and even some red onion and balsamic sausage rolls for a savoury Valentine alternative. Who doesn't love sausage, eh? Indeed. Uh, and if you fancy getting your lips around them, or the flapjacks, or the sausages, then the details should be on your screen right now. And we must just say that ingredients are locally sourced and organic where possible, producing lovely, rustic, traditional tea time treats and pastries. Yeah. So do look them up. We can dig in, right? You should do, yeah, go on. All right, okay. You should do voiceovers. Gonna... Oh, I, I've had a nibble should. beforehand. Go on, you, well, you have a nibble of that. Okay. Um, I can't afford to because I won't be able to fit into this jacket any longer. <laughs> you have a nibble of that and then give me a, give me a full, okay. full I'm analysis. Eat like a little bit. Yeah, go on. Ooh, you ate a lot more earlier. Uh, now, <laughs> you're so mean. <laughs> I think it's time. Mm. It says in the script it's time to put down the pastries. Oh. I'm not going to win that battle. Okay, all right. Um, I'm putting them down. I'm putting them down. <laughs> of course, Valentine's Day means, I'm only joking, means uh, looking good and squeezing into that slinky, sexy dress and looking and feeling, not just looking, but feeling raunchy. Wow, you sold that. We have enlisted the help of our friend and stylist extraordinaire, Chrissy Ricks, who has some sound advice on pulling off the perfect Valentine's outfit. Pun very much intended. Hello! Hello. Good morning, Hello. Ben. Can, Can I just say something? Ben? What I find so funny about uh, lingerie oh, gosh. Um, is, and what's it called? No, leg negligee. No? Yeah, yes. well, it's, yeah, similar, similar, yeah. similar is that you spend vast sums of money. I'm sorry, I'm doing away with your business here, but they spend vast sums of money on it. You come into the bedroom, this great moment, you know, the, the hue of the lamp lights up your torso, this flowing kind of... <laughs> Never write erotic novels. Criss-cross number, <laughs> and then five minutes later, it's on the floor. Yeah, you don't get much wear for your money, do you, actually, with laundry? Well, it's all about the anticipation, though, isn't it? Yes. Would you not say? Yes. yes. Yeah. And feeling yeah. sexy, and feeling not just looking sexy and all of that. Now, we're not, yeah. we're not doing lingerie today, are we? You're thinking more... Well, we've got a nice mix for you. We've actually got some traditional wear, some weekend wear, and things that would perhaps be, you know, you can wear different times of year as well, so you get your cost per wear. And then we've also got some underwear, but it's more um, spring, everyday, pretty nighties, and uh, dressing gowns. <laughs> So nothing too overt and raunchy, I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> oh, shame. That's I was right with you up until that point. <laughs> it's fine. I feel like we might make up for it later on the show, but you always bring us such lovely clothes, um, and I'm dying to see some. So let's get started with the first selection that you've brought in and check it out. Okay. Mm. Okay, the first look we've, look we've gone for is from the Star Show, and we've gone for something very traditional, classic red. Nothing says Valentine's more than a classic quintessential red dress. Um, this is beautiful, it's 135 with a vintage twist to it with the uh, lovely shape on the shoulders. I love that neckline, I was going to say. What's it called? 
It's from the Pretty Dress Company, from the Star Show. Oh, no, sorry, I meant the neckline, and, is and it? And the eh? neckline, um, quite like often it's called Bardot or oh, Sweetheart, okay. but it's mm. slightly off the shoulder, it's got a slight vintage element. Um, and now we're moving on to Lucy. Hot pink oh, is like very much one, the colour of the I, season. I, I like her cuffs. Uh, extreme. Definitely a buffet, they wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is, the sleeves are, this is the sleeve of the season, apparently. Oh, good. I, like it. Oh, I love a floaty sleeve. <laughs> Uh, very much the sort of flute and ruffle, very much on the catwalk this season. And this colour is also huge. And this is again from the Star Show from Pretty Dress Company. And teamed very simply with a lovely necklace. It really doesn't need much of a statement other than that. And now we've gone into a tunic dress. Paul is wearing a simple tunic dress at £75 from the Star Show. Uh, again, very simple. All these dresses speak for themselves. They are the special colours that you'd expect to see at Valentine's. Simple, bold and stunning. And so we've gone for that very simple look and very effective statement dress. I love oh, it. Oh, you've done your job again. I mean, you've done a fantastic job again. Just out of interest, red is not everybody's colour. No, it isn't. It really depends on your skin tone. If you've got a very sort of rich, olive warm mm -hmm. skin tone, you can do the tomato reds, as Paul is wearing there. But if you're more of a cool colouring, let's say like yourself, Beth, you'd want something a little bit more in the blue red, sort of oh, more I... fuchsia and cherry red. Okay. Yeah. I do still wear red though, is that okay? Red is fine, as okay. long as you go for the right tone of red. Right. There's a lot of mixtures of red. And a neutral shoe there we saw, and is that kind of always a good idea? You don't think, not red head to toe? You could do red head to toe, it could look quite effective. I think for this we wanted to showcase the dresses, so we thought let's just keep everything else very, very simple. Um, and that's I, why it really works. I think it works because the dress is so bold, that colour is so bold. Absolutely. Um, and when you're using it en masse like that, it's the whole of the garment, then it makes a real statement. They're beautiful, yes. absolutely beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Lovely one. And they? boys love kind of girls in a red dress, don't they? Isn't it kind of a sexy colour? Um, yeah. I, 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 I think I, it is, yeah. yeah. I think it's very much a statement, isn't yeah. it, of, you know, I'm here to have a nice evening. And confidence. <laughs> I think <mean>, confidence. <laughs> What's that wonderful song? <laughs> red light smells danger. <laughs> you know, you? Oh, I was like thinking that. of Lady in Red. No, we'll go Lady yeah. in Red. Yeah. Yeah, but red light smells danger is better because it's about what might happen later. Yeah. Um, now, your second selection. Right. The second selection, we've gone something very, very different. People sometimes go away for weekends, they go out for lunch. This is a transitional piece, a really beautiful dress that we've got from Gingers. I love that and one. It's Horizontal stripes, everyone says safer. Safer that... and extremely popular again this season. And we love this because I mean, vertical it's got... stripes, don't I? I you do, do and yeah. I knew what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> um, vertical stripes are very flattering, especially if you're angular like Cheryl. We've teamed it just with a little navy um, pump court and a really sweet little bag, all this from Ginger. And now we're moving on to Lucy. Now Lucy's wearing a lovely blush pink outfit, very textured. Is this a coat that matches the dress? It is, yes. Ooh. Yes, and the coat is um, just over 600 pounds. But oh, what we love God. about this, Bargain. It will, you could wear this for a wedding, cost per wear. We yeah. felt you could wear the dress individually to a barbecue, the races. You could wear the jacket with other things. You could wear it all together. Beautiful for a weekend away, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, or um, just a lovely luncheon. And then this is Paula's travel wear. She's off on a weekend to London. She's getting the train to a lovely hotel. And we've got her in a beautiful shirt from Paul Smith from Ginger and a pair of replay jeans just a shopping bag and these colours again this blush pinky peach is lovely on Paula's warm colouring and this looks effortless and comfortable and comfortable yeah. but still you know has that sort of romantic going away maybe for a weekend mm. or a, for lunch somewhere or to London for the night uh, look and all kind quite reserved there in terms of colour and kind of yes. neutral shades is that more what you'd expect at this time of year, going into a new season? Well, I think the new season's actually full of lots of colour. Yes. There's a lot of rainbowed bright, a lot of colour. fuchsia pink, a lot of red, um, a lot of um, greens and orange and flame colours. Mm. Having said that, there's also the nudes, and we really wanted to show a spectrum of what's available. Not everybody suits strong colour, so we thought we'd put in some of the blush and the stripes to give you some, some transitional looks as well. Are, are the, um, the expensive uh, middle garment, you're right that you could use that, you could use it for a wedding, you could use it at the races, you could separate the two together. Absolutely. And you will get a lot of wear out of it and you can get a lot of play with it. And I guess you can use them separately and people wouldn't actually think that you've got the same dress on. Exactly, you could put a different jacket with the dress, you could put jeans or a pair of linen trousers and wear the jacket to the you know, Norfolk show races. Do you think yes. you get what you pay for with garments like that? Um, I think you do, because with that kind of garment, particularly with the colouring of it, I think that it's very neutral and you can actually wear it 
quite a lot of different occasions, mm. so you get cost per wear. And quality-wise, because I've got, you know, I've got some great bargains that have lasted for years, but I always wonder if, especially with shoes, I always think you kind of get what you pay for. I think you do, really. I think fabric is what it's all about, really. Yeah, that's very, very important. And cost per wear is what it's about. Mm. You don't spend money on something, just make sure you don't leave it in the cupboard and think it's for best, I can't wear it. Wear it a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I've never thought about that, actually. That's a good way of kind of working out. Now, we have one final one where it's yeah. all getting Nightwear. slightly sexier. Let's well, why out. not? Yeah. No, it's great. Again, you may have arrived at a hotel, you may just want to be sitting around having a glass of champagne before you get ready and go out. And these are beautiful pyjamas from John Lewis. And they are um, £39. Satin. Satin, floaty, beautiful feel to them. Uh, this is a, a beautiful little spring number from John Lewis. A little nighty and a dressing gown. Are we going to Floor. get the big reveal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you're not going to get the big Shame. reveal. <laughs> we thought we'd be very discreet uh, rather than too overt. Here we overt. go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tempting. <laughs> oh, I like this one. And then Paula is in a lovely dark blue with a gorgeous floral sort of nudie peach colour as well. This is uh, one of the main colours for the season again. And the nighty is 35 like and the wrap is 45. So we've been very discreet. We haven't gone into something too overt because we didn't want to be predictable. And we just wanted to show some of the nice floral colours mm. that are around for this season without going into some of the reds and the stronger colours. Yeah, well. they are lovely. Are you I disappointed? Like them. <laughs> oh, shame. <laughs> I'll say, look, you, no you tease. You tease. Actually, I have to say, the, the last two, I, the first one is a, is a pair of very comfortable, practical pyjamas. But the thing about style, what you've married there, I think, brilliantly, is the fact that you do want to feel comfortable mm. in all these garments. Yes. I have to say, I think the first three, the red dresses, are stunning. Yes. Absolutely yeah, stunning. And I, and I really love seeing people wear bold colours. Yeah. And I think, and I might be wrong here, but it works better on middle-aged women of a certain age, I've saw, seen some younger women wearing bold colours and it didn't quite work. I mean, is, that, is that the wrong thing How to say? How dare or? you? Um, I think colours all about skin tone, hair and eyes. Not about Not age. age. Not about age. Okay. I retract that Good. comment entirely. Good. Now, entirely. your um, skills are not just for us here at Mustard and the viewers at home, but there's one lucky winner, right, that you want to announce. Tell me about the there competition. Is, there is. Um, and I'm really excited to find out um, who it's going to be. Well, at the Star Show, we're going to be offering a lady, one lovely lady, a uh, full makeover. So she'll have a colour analysis, she'll have a shape analysis, the full styling with clothing and makeup. So we'll give her a complete make a spring oh, makeover. Great. great. It's usually lots of fun and I'm sure we'll um, really enjoy doing it for her. And you've been collecting entrants. We have, yes. I and think it's time to pick the winner here. out of... Uh, out of the snazzy box that we've prepared yeah. for you here. So go ahead. Shall I go for it? Choose yeah. your winner. And hopefully they're watching. We have Sally Hillier. Sally, Sally Hillier. Hillier. Sally. Thank you, audience. Thank you. Well done, Sally. Yes, a huge congratulations, Sally. Thank you so much for coming in and giving us such a great rundown yeah. once again. You're and welcome. And happy Valentine's Day. Please do help yourself to you. all they of look the delicious. treats. They look delicious. They do look delicious. I know you're going to say no to all of these because you don't keep a figure like that by <laughs> diving into these boxes of joy, do you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if only I could have your resistance. It's a shame you're not going to be with us in part two because we're off down the sex shop. Yes, well, we will need your resistance to make that uh, kind of work. So I'm warning you now. And also, can we please say love boutique and not sex shop? Oh, sorry. What's okay. the difference? <laughs> anyway, uh, a huge congratulations to Sally Hillier and yeah. thank you again, Chrissy. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Super. Uh, now, right, um, get your coat, Davison. You've pulled. No, get your coat, Davison, <laughs> because um, the second part of tonight's show, we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to go rogue. Um, we're to the love boutique. Yeah, we're, we're going to burst out of this studio. We're going to take a wander to Sin Sin's love boutique. To pick up, um, it says here your present. Yeah, I know it does. Yeah, which I'm is not buying. Not but, yeah. true <laughs> and really awkward. Yeah. Uh, we're going into the city after Sin Sins to see what's tickling the fancy of the fine city. So, really, honestly, genuinely, you don't want to miss part two. We'll Choking see you in the bowl of maze, yes. <laughs>